This gathering of women believes Nigeria is not living up to its commitment to ensuring gender equality as stipulated in the national gender policy in terms of the low representative percentage of women in elective and appointive offices. They want gender to be mainstreamed as women remain powerful agents of change whose far-reaching benefits in leadership and decision-making are increasingly recognized in all fairs. Democracy is also about representation. The reason why it's important to have, I think, parity, which means equality, in women's representation when compared with the men, is that Nigeria has signed a lot of international um, commitments that said that we will prioritize um, gender equity and equality. Equity meaning that we are going to put conditions in place that enable for people to compete um, fairly, everybody. Uh, and then equality meaning that we believe that when we all are represented in percentages that are commensurate with our size of the population, we'll have a variety of voices and um, issues that are brought to the table that represent all the concerns of the people. So it's democratic to be gender sensitive. Open our minds you know, to who is going to help the Nigerian women and the young women as well because they are the leaders of tomorrow. We must give them the opportunity to begin to think leadership, to begin to think positive, you know, so that many of them will be talking, you know, much more than we are talking. Although the rise of insecurity in the country and the economic downturn have equally threatened more women contesting for political offices, these women groups suggest the creation of a trust fund for women. While soliciting more support from women folk, they believe that the rejection of the gender bills is a deliberate conspiracy against women. And we need to go work on that fund thing and see whether we can raise funds from people, individuals, private individuals, then support, it doesn't matter the political party, just support women. Because what grants will you turn down five bills that we're not going to do any, any harm to you, even if you give us three over five, or to give us zero over five, I think that's just being mean. I mean in developing a strategy to balance the power equation in leadership and elevate women in decision making, these women say creating an enabling environment to see women thrive politically should be at the forefront of the manifestos of any of the candidates for the upcoming general elections. Aisha Salihu, Trust TV News, Abuja.